People, deluded. You guys know I love young footballers and youth football and things. Immediately this season, my bias has been towards Spain, Italy to a slight degree. I've watched a lot of German football and I've watched a lot of French football, youth and and full full in full men's game for want of better phrases and i've been imp i'm always impressed with who i see at psg I've, I've sat here for years now psg despite the fact that they spend all them peas they've got a fantastic academy you've seen the likes of diaby getting chances and soki getting chances with tuku um who else has there been there's been in kunku might need to move i haven't really seen him involved don't know if he's gone alone or not um, you've seen players leave PSG and develop. You've seen, I mean, Claudio Gomez, um, someone who I would have kept at PSG if I had the chance to join City. They always bring in a great through pipeline of players. They've got several great players. Um, yeah, they've got several great young players in a lot of positions, like you, like you're seeing. And um, obviously, I watch a young, a lot of young footballers, and I watch a lot of youth tournaments and things. And I've been impressed with. Adley, I'm going to call him Adley, his name will be in the description, I'm not going to make a mess of his name. He is someone I like, man. I think he can play on the flanks as well as inside from the footage I've seen of him both in full 90 minutes and on Rescout. He impressed me against Napoli in which he's for the youth gen in the fake, the youth Champions League. He scored a cracker from outside the area, if, if I can remember correctly, if it wasn't from the outside the area, it was from range, it was a good strike. Um... My sort of midfielder, an Arsenal sort of player, can play in a couple of positions, can be developed in a couple of positions. I say this, I think he's best in a, in a mid-central midfield role, but from some of the footage I've saw, he's actually been tasked on the flanks in youth, in, in youth international tournaments with PSG. So I like him, man. He's small and rugged, very good at recycling and retaining possession, um, very good at playing the neat little sideways passes to not lose possession, very good under pressure with a football um Defensively, he gets in good positions, but he can obviously improve in that. It's a bit too easy to go past him. He's got a good passing range. And what I like about it, most young players, get, they can see the pass. You know when you know a player can see the pass and they're, still, and they're scared to do it? He won't do it. He will continuously look to clip nice little weighted passes for his strikers over the top. He can hit a free kick as well. I've got a lot, of, a lot of time for him, man. Even if I remember correctly, what? I swear a few fixtures ago, a few months ago, sorry, he played against England where he had a good game as well, in his international counterparts at that level. Um, I think he's got the potential to be a top, top player. You guys know I rarely say these mad things about players, but I really, you know when you just see a player once, and I've been wrong, and I'll be wrong time and time again, and I could be wrong about this, but... I really think he's a great player. Um, even at the Montagu, I can't say the name properly, the French youth tournament, he was good there. I think he could be a top, top player for PSG. And just in general, I really think the raw potential is there, man. Like like I said, the, the passing range. I wouldn't say he's like Nasri because he doesn't. He's not more of a, he's not much of a dribbler like how, um, like how Nasri was. But some of the passes and connections play, like he, he he doesn't he doesn't seem phased by 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 much to be honest with you. I like him a lot, man. I really like this football, and I would would try and move heaven and earth to try and get him moved to Arsenal because he's sixteen years of age. You've just got you just got to plant the seed in his mind. Listen, come to Arsenal. The pathway to first team is better. You're seeing Guendouzi at nineteen getting first team. That could be you. Um, Playing through an Emre, who probably know, who probably knew about you or knew someone about you before you was officially. Um, I don't think it's under 18s in France, but would be called an under 18 player. In fact, yeah, it is. So yeah, he's a player. I think he's a bad boy footballer. It's not, it's not even. It's not just him. You've got Fandinga as well. Um, 17 years of age. The first time I saw him was in I think the defeat five two or 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 something like that. A heavy defeat by um um they were handed a heavy defeat by Liverpool um in the youth gen. And he also played good against Napoli. You would think he's Kante some of the possession positions he gets into, but defensively for me he can he can improve a lot. He's been compared to Kante by a lot of people. Um but I don't think he's anything like Kante. I don't think he's much of a tackler like Kante. But what I like about him, you can see how they're similar stature and similar build. But I like about him, he plays smart passes. He can he is outstrept quite a lot and he will need to improve at seventeen, he kinda needs to improve in that. But he can outsmart um op his opposition. He's played some good passes, man. Like he reminds me loosely of Seri. He's more Seri than he is than he ever will be um Kante in my opinion. He can play a good progressive pass and he likes to dictate in the middle. Again, it's tough to imagine if these lot can make it at PSG, but you'd think he'd get half a chance. And then obviously you've got admittedly Adley's my favourite, but so this guy would be second. Kai is Ruiz at Atli Atil Atil. I can't say his name correctly. Um can play eligible to play for France or Morocco in the future, maybe even Spain, because I do remember he did leave Barcelona to join PSG. It's a bit of a mad choice, I, I guess, but 
Lamassiers, we've seen a madness, we've seen several players leave. But um he's a player I've got a lot of time for, man. He can play on he can play in central midfield, he can play on the right, he can play on the left, he's reasonably quick. Um his passing again, like Adley, passing range, um passing range Adil, sorry, I keep why do I keep calling him Adli? Adil, sorry. I, I'm thinking of Yashin Adli for some weird reason throughout this whole vid, but it's Adil. Forgive me for butchering his name. Adil. But back to Kai's Ruiz. Yeah, man, he's not the best tackler, especially when recovering. He gets into positions, but he gives away silly fouls that would probably hurt you in the main in the men's game. His best strengths are clearly he's an offensive sort of midfielder. His best strengths are the passes, connecting play, finding passes in the final third. He plays some very good one twos as well. I had the needle passes. Um, Spurs fans or Spurs fans that are in in touch with their youth, you you got to see him against your under seventeen. So he is a very good player. Um, he tracks back, but he's just poor at defending, in my opinion. I had the needle passes. And one thing again, bravado, not afraid to shoot from range. Many a time it doesn't pay off, but these are the raw things you're looking for in footballers to be fair with you, to see if they can go to the next level. You need bravado. It remains to be seen whether Adley, sorry for, um, Adil, sorry, keep see Adley again. Um, it remains to be seen whether Adil, who I believe really can do this. I do believe Adil, out of all of these names, of the three names I've said, Adil has the potential to be a madness. Um, Kai's Ruiz could as well. And Fandingo, I think he's going to have a good career. These are three good central midfield players, in my opinion. Um, they're still very young, so we don't know how their futures are gonna is gonna um, impact. But if it was me, I do will be at this club. I listen, people. I'm not here to gas it, and I could be wrong. But first time seeing him, just thought, yeah, you're gonna be a top player. You need to come to Arsenal. A deal is needed. I'm not even going to attempt to say his, his second name because that's our madness. I'm not going to disrespect him. But a deal is needed, people. Trust me, we need a deal. He's a young set, sort of central midfielder. Um, and just by looking at under 23s, there's, you could say we kind of need to bring in... I know that Romanian midfielder's coming in, but there might be a case of another one because you'd like to think Gilmore and Willock, who are under probably first the first choice midfielders at under 23 level, they probably will go on loan next season or something or need to. So under 23 level, there's a bit of a blip there. Someone needs to come and play football. We need to get some young players. And we've seen an exodus of young players already with Josh, Vlad Dragomir, Adli, Banassia the year before. And you know at this point. So, yeah. In short, Adil's the one I'd be bringing to the club. Fadiga's got some talent. And I'd be very careful of, of Kai Ruiz because, yeah, he looks like, doesn't look like a bad prospect himself. But... Yeah, man, Adil will be my one, then probably Kai's and then Fendinga, but they're all good players and we'll see how they develop. On that note, anyways, people, DG, comment, subscribe and do the rest. I'm out.